In the last video, we made a PCB that could play in television cartridges, but there was still quite a bit of errors with that. Uh, so in this video, we'll try to fix those errors and get uh, a little bit closer to having a fully functional Intellivision clone. One of the more persistent errors was that some of the sprites were missing their lower half. This can be seen in Burger Time and also Tennis. When I reviewed the ALU logic, I discovered that for some reason, during jump routine commands, the flags like carry, zero, overflow, were being overwritten. So what I had to do was change the code to retain the state of these flags. And now our characters have legs. Another problem I saw in Burger Time was that the sprites were not aligned properly with the background. This came down to a stupid arithmetic error in my VHDL code. In my implementation, each Intellivision pixel corresponds to four VGA pixels. For some reason, I was doubling instead of quadrupling. Once this was fixed, the characters aligned properly. Another shortcoming with my implementation was lack of hardware collision support. This resulted in no registered hits in Astro Smash and Burger Time. So I had to implement collisions. In terms of coding, we instantiate eight collision subblocks, one for each sprite. Within each subblock, we register collisions between sprite with sprite, sprites with background tiles, and sprites with border. So let's see what happens now in these two games. So yes, now collision detection is working. For the longest time, I had trouble with my implementation of carry out. In the case of subtraction, I inverted the existing carry flag and used it as a carry in. This is wrong. And it prevented some of the classic sports games from advancing past the start screen. The fix was to invert the carry that resulted from the subtraction. And now soccer and hockey work. At this stage, not everything is working perfectly, but I wanna push ahead and work on gamepad support. Right now, I don't have proper gamepad controller support. I've been getting by uh, using this uh, probe in order to control things. The board itself is designed to be used with the Intellivision 2 controller and also the six button Sega Genesis controller. There's a couple of jumpers on the board in order to select between these two options. So anyway, uh, what we're gonna use now are these two controllers here. They're knockoffs of the six button Sega Genesis controller. The six button Sega Genesis controller uses a series of high and low pulses for its polling. I think I'll implement two counters for this. One generic counter for timekeeping. The other counter will be a cycle counter. We'll then decode the values of these two counters to latch the various gamepad buttons. In terms of VHDL, we have our generic counter, our cycle counter, and a section to latch the controller buttons. This in turn is followed by an extensive section where we map the buttons to specific functions for specific games. So right now I have the, uh, the gamepad controller um, plugged into my console clone over here. And we're gonna put Astro Smash in. 
right now my dip switch is set to all on, which uh, is for mostly arcade games, Astro Smash included. So we'll power things on. So yeah, you guys could probably hear the clicking of the... Uh, See, I'm, I'm still uh, not the greatest even uh, with proper joystick uh, capabilities here. I'm probably stranded here. Uh... So I beat that level. Yeah, keep recording because I usually don't get this far. Hmm, I guess I just avoided it. So yeah, burger time is much easier when you have the joystick. All right, um, so for the next game, I'm gonna play Tron's Deadly Discs, and then I have to change the, the dip switch for that. So now in this case, I'm using different buttons, like to shoot it on angles and whatnot. Not all that good at this game. This game is very chaotic, eh? Oh, did I get two birds with one stone? So yeah, I guess you could say there's been a lot of progress uh, since the last video. Um, a good part of the bugs that were making most of the games unplayable have been solved. We have some collision detection now, and of course the joystick control really basically makes it uh, almost like to a game system right now. Uh, so there's still some work, uh, still a few bugs uh, to resolve. Um, and of course, uh, it'd be nice to have some uh, sound. So uh, join me again for future videos um, to check on this progress. Thanks.